everybody and welcome to a fun craft with me video. So I am going to be using supplies that are actually in my Etsy shop at the moment right now and the reason that I wanted to use supplies from my personal shop is one shameless promotion but two I actually love these supplies and I very rarely save anything for myself when I list things on Etsy and so I decided to sort of spoil myself in a way and use supplies that I love and have sourced myself and have personally loved and um, wanted to use them. And so I've challenged myself to do that. And so I just pulled a bunch of different supplies that are actually in a variety of different um, like packs that are in my kit. So if you see anything that you like on screen, obviously you can go over and check it out on my Etsy. Um, but if you're curious about something in particular, I can let you know exactly which listing it's in. But I'm starting off with this really, really beautiful, delicate blue um, Form 19 railroad paper. And this stuff is like thinner than tissue paper. And the sound and the texture is amazing. You can see the color patina is absolutely to die for. And I have loved this paper for a very long time and finally was able to source some for myself, obviously, and for the shop as well. And I'm actually using it instead of just eyeballing it and oogling it and loving it from afar. I'm going to put it to work. And so I'm going to first work in my journal and then I'm going to move on and create a pretty envelope as well, which is why I'm not labeling this as like a journal with me video or a mail art video because I'm kind of doing both. So I hope you don't mind and that you enjoy the process all the same. I didn't pre-plan anything. I just sort of grabbed a bunch of the supplies that I really, really, really loved and started using them immediately. So... Um, I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe, and I know that a lot of states and countries are now preparing for the beginning of the school year, which I know is pretty tough on a lot of parents. I know it was a very hard decision for us as well, but we um, made the decision to send our children back to um, the physical school. And um, we talked about it for a long time and we spoke to several um, people in the school and we read several articles about what the, our public school system is doing and we watched lots of videos of how they're actually going to protect the children and the classroom and we felt like it was enough. It was good enough um, for us and so... We've decided to send them in. They are required to wear masks the whole time they're at school, which is something that the kids are having a really hard time with. Um, and I don't think they're going to be able to do recess this year. They're not going to be able to eat in the classroom. I mean, the cafeteria, they're going to have to eat at their desks. Um, and they're not going to be able to have any physical contact with their teachers um, or their friends. And I think... Um, I think it's going to be hard and I, I'm more sad about what their experience is going to be this year with school because they've been in school for a few years now and they know what school should be like. And I'm really sad that they are going to have to go into this school year and they're, they're really sad about it too. We've had very deep discussions with them about what the school year is going to look like and they're, they're pretty sad about it, but they know that it's for the good. They know it's for the safety of everyone, they understand it, they recognize it, and they don't have a problem with that. They're just they're just nervous about what they don't understand, which I can totally relate to and understand. Um, so yeah, that's what we're facing. We've got one more week left of summer vacation, and then the kids are going back. And I really want to say that I'm excited for them to go back to school, but honestly, this has been the first summer where I don't want them to go back <laughs> for a lot of different reasons, but, um, you know, I'm going to miss them and I really enjoy having them here during the day. They're so helpful now. They're finally at the age where they are helpful and they listen and 
we have established that's a great routine, you know, since they've been home since March where they do all their chores and they're doing their work and they're listening and they're helping with the babies and they're playing with the babies and they're keeping them busy if I have to clean or go to the bathroom or, you know, or, or prepare a meal, you know, they're just always there to help distract them. And I'm going to miss my little buddies, my, my little helpers. <laughs> so anyway, it's totally fine. I'm totally fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Skylar, get a grip. Um, anyway, so um, another major decision that um, we have made recently is that we have officially canceled our Toronto trip for the fall. So every year for my anniversary, my husband and I go on a reconnecting anniversary trip. The years are long for us, especially with our four children. And so every year of our marriage, we have always taken a break from reality and gone on a trip to reconnect as a couple. And it's been very important to us. It's very special to us. It's very meaningful for us. It's not just like a ridiculous vacation. It's nothing like that at all. It is a proper reconnection trip where we go and we reconnect and we talk and we get deep and we get heavy and we enjoy each other and we explore and we are just... um, We're just Timothy and Skylar. We're not mom and dad. And it's really great. I love it. I look forward to it every year. Um, We were meant to go to Toronto, but we canceled it. And then we were meant to go to the Grand Canyon. And then we decided against it because we have a little bit less time this year than we had anticipated because we have a wedding to go to as well. As soon as we get home, we're going to be packing up again and going um, away for a wedding. And so... It's uh it's it's going to be interesting. We're um we're planning to do a Texas road trip. So, I'm really excited. We're going to try to hit uh Houston, Dallas, and Austin. I'm most looking forward to Austin. Austin has been on my wish list forever. Um but I think Dallas is going to be fun and I'm excited to go down to Houston and see the coast of Texas, maybe sneak in a lighthouse or anything. So if you have any recommendations in that triangle, please 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 leave them down below. We are starting to plan things now. We are going to fly into Texas and then rent a car and drive um through. So any and all recommendations would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you know anything about the area or any historic hotels or stationery shops or gardens or anything historical, let me know down below. I want to hear all about it or a place you might love, a food place that you love, all of the things. So, uh, yeah, and obviously we're going to be doing it with the uh, utmost care and caution. We're going to be doing all the things we um we are going to be very smart about this trip, obviously. But um, yeah, so I've moved on to the envelope. I really, really love that Western Union telegram. It's a proper Western Union telegram uh, form. It's not like a printable. And I, um, I kind of struggled with this envelope a little bit, uh, but only because I was trying to fit a lot of bigger pieces on the envelope and trying to make it work. And uh, in the end, I love it in the end, but I I struggled with it because I had a lot of bigger pieces that I was trying to make work and it just didn't, um, it didn't come together in my mind like I want it to. So it's fine. But I hope that you guys are doing well and that um, you are taking some time for yourself to recenter and to create things and to play with paper and to do things that make you happy, um, even if they're not paper related. And um, I know that I have made it a priority for myself. I'm I'm definitely approaching uh, the need for a break. So I think I'm going to take uh, the entire month of November and just kind of refocus and recenter. So I just don't think I'm going to be posting as often. I've been posting three videos a week for quite a while where it used to just be like one or two, maybe. Um, and I've been posting pretty regularly. 
and I love it. I love the content is great. I love being able to do these things, but I think I'm just going to really, we'll see how the new, the school year goes, but I, I just need to refocus and kind of figure out what I want to do. Um, but we'll see. I think, I don't think much will change because I just love doing these videos and it's really not that hard. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm still relevant and I'm still creating content that people are interested in because I have grown quite a bit this year and my view counts really haven't changed very much. So I just want to make sure that I'm producing the kind of content that you guys want to see. So anyway, that's my piece. I said it. I'm munching on popcorn flavored M&Ms right now and they're really good. <laughs> oh, they're really, really yummy. Anyway, so uh, yeah, like I said before, all of these items are in my Etsy store right now. So some of the listings are for individual items. Some of them are, most of them actually are in paper packs. And I love paper packs because you get a lot um, in the packs. You get a pretty good bang for your buck. And there's lots of colors and textures. And I'm very mindful. Um, I think I also did a railroad pack this month where I actually... Uh, collected a bunch of different railroad ephemera and papers, uh, including that super soft tissue paper, paper in two different colors, maybe even three. Uh, so it's it's really good. <laughs> and um, I don't really need to say it, but uh, the money that I uh, raised from now on is going to help give this mom a break because <laughs> I need it more than you guys know. Um, so if you are interested, I would surely love um, for you to help contrib uh, contribute to that. And I was talking to my husband and I think what I'm going to do is um, if you place an order and you leave a note in the comment section that says um, Texas or bust, I will, um, I will send you a postcard from Texas. So as a thank you for donating to our trip and supporting my shop, I'll send you a postcard from Texas. So I will use the address that you use in your order. I will save it and I will put your name on a list. And then while we were on our road trip, I'll send you a postcard. So I think that's going to be fun. It's a win-win for everybody. So I'm going to bring it in closer for you guys to see. Um, I will leave all the details that you need for this down below if you're interested. I do thank you in advance. It really means the world to me. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them down below. That's going to be it for me. Thank you so much. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.